At the beginning of the COVID epidemic beginning in Europe, we started to think about ways that we could improve the safety and the effectiveness of cleaning spaces in the hospital in the context of a pandemic. The robot has been tested in Europe, it's been tested in China, but we're doing our own testing. Please leave the room, close the door, and start the disinfection. So we've got uh, indicators, bacterial indicators, and other things that we've put in a room um, that the robot is actually going to be cleaning. Then we measure what's going on and we can show that the disinfection is at the standard that we want. We want to make sure that if a patient is in a room who's been sick, that there is no trace of whatever has infected the patient when another patient is brought into the room. So we need things that will literally blast the virus or blast the bacteria. Things like uh, C. difficile, things like the coronavirus and other bacteria, other viruses, we need to be able to get rid of them completely. So for a normal cleaning procedure for a room, it could take up to an hour, let's say. For the robot to go in and do exactly the same thing in terms of disinfection, it can take anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes. With GPS technology being harnessed, with the robot being able to move around the rooms, enter the bathrooms, enter into the crevices and little corners, that really is a value added to allow for this technology to be used. And it's not there to replace people. It's there to make people do their job better, in a safer way, and to be able to decongest our emergency rooms faster, to be able to move a patient who's discharged, clean the room faster, get another patient in, clean the operating rooms faster, get another patient in, so it'll save time, it'll decrease waiting lists, it'll improve hygiene, it'll be safer for our, our maintenance staff. It can be a game changer in terms of how our hospitals are run.